The idealistic days when it was argued that trade could help to make poverty history seem long ago now. The data are clear that trade has benefited a tiny elite and massively increased global inequality. The trade system we have now prioritises the interests of capital above those of people. But we can change this, and we must, if we are to defeat the forces of nationalism and reassure our citizens that globalisation can work for them. Forgive me if I doubt the extent to which this concern was considered seriously at the recent WTO discussions. While Commissioner Malmstrom is developing plans for a multilateral investment court to protect businesses from potential losses, the UN is debating an international binding treaty enforcing minimum human rights standards on multinational corporations who too often slip through national legal controls. Given the clear support for such a charter by the European Parliament, it was deeply disappointing that the EU chose to hold hands with the Trump administration in an attempt to block this process.